Hi. In this video, I want to take a look at Navisworks and specifically viewpoints. So whether you're familiar with Navisworks or uh, you're fairly new uh, to Navisworks, one of the things that you don't necessarily need straight off the bat, but something that will make your life a lot easier is having viewpoints. And a viewpoint is just a, a saved view of your project. Um, and being able to return to those views for various reasons uh, can save you a lot of time um, and effort. So first of all, to open up the saved viewpoints window. So on the rim bar, if you go to your view tab and then go to your workspace group, we have our windows button here. And from the drop down, you've got your saved viewpoints. Turning that on or off will control the saved viewpoints window. Initially, it's probably going to be minimized and exist as a tab at the side um, of your Navisworks workspace. But once that's popped over by moving your mouse over it, you can click the little drawing pin icon in the top right hand corner of the saved viewpoint, viewpoints window and pin that open. That way it's not going to be constantly minimizing and maximizing um, whilst you use it. This particular project already has some viewpoints in there. As mentioned, viewpoints are just a saved um, view of your project. It could be the camera angle, your zoom level. If you've been um, tinkering around with the view, such as sectioning it, adding markups, those will all be part of the viewpoint. Left clicking on any of the viewpoints that are already saved within the saved viewpoints window will open up that particular viewpoint within your main workspace. You've still got your basic navigation controls. I can pan the view, I can orbit, for example, and I can zoom in and zoom out. But as soon as you do any of that, your viewpoint is no longer the same as what you had saved. And technically, you come out of that viewpoint. So I'm currently in this uh, camera from above realistic. But as soon as I zoom in or zoom out or pan, rotate, I am no longer in that particular viewpoint. So your viewpoints are very specific. So as soon as you move the camera at all, you've changed your viewpoint. To save a new viewpoint, all we need to do is set up the view within the project that we're wanting to save. There's a couple of ways you can do this. My personal preference is with the save viewpoints window already open, is just right click inside it, particularly an empty space. And in the context menu that appears, you've got save viewpoint there. This will add a new viewpoint and let's just call this view 01 for now. Press the return key. And that's now saved within the viewpoints window. I can change my view within the main workspace and I can left click on view 01 at any time and return back to that particular viewpoint. If I need to delete it, I've made a mistake, for example, I can just right click on any viewpoint and press the delete button. So just to run through that again, set up the view that you want, right click within the save viewpoints window hit the save viewpoint option, and then I'm just gonna call this one view 02. As mentioned, there's a, a few ways. So you'll find as well on the ribbon bar, you've got a viewpoint tab. And we have a save viewpoints button in here as well. Again, if I just change the view, I can hit the save viewpoint button and it creates a new viewpoint in the save viewpoints window and i'm just going to name that one view zero three sometimes you can build up a lot of viewpoints and you'll want some means of organizing those views so we can create folders again within the save viewpoints window just right click go to new folder now we've got a new folder here and let's just call this demonstration for now i can move these viewpoints into this demonstration folder by moving my mouse over the name of the viewpoint, left click and hold down, oops. 
it's going to let me do that. There we go. Drag my mouse cursor over the demonstration folder, let go, and it will drop that inside the folder. I can move multiple views. Oops, just going to let me do that. Try again. There we go. I can move multiple views by holding down Control or Shift on my keyboard to select the multiple views and then drag and drop them into the selected folder. As mentioned, you can use the sectioning tool as well. So if I was to uh, section this, let's just uh, uh, go with something simple. It looks like they're all turned on. Let's fit to selection. Let's just select that there. There we go. And then I can save this as a viewpoint. Again, there's a save viewpoint button in the sectioning tool. I'm just going to use my preferred method and save it into there. And let's just call this sectioned view. And now if I come out of that section view by going to a different view, I can then click on section view and it'll take me into that saved view, sectioned as it was in creation. Okay, so we'll take a look at markups next. So one of the other things we can do is, let's just change views. Is if we go to the review tab, we have a number of markup tools here. These again are specific to the viewpoint that you're in. So I'm currently in this camera from above, and I'm going to add some text. I'm just going to place that somewhere above the model, and let's just keep this simple man and machine. And I now have that text there. It could be anything that you want to. To write. If I come out of this viewpoint just simply by, for example, zooming in or zooming out, that markup disappears. That markup is part of that viewpoint. If I left click and go back to that viewpoint, I will see the markups that are there. But as soon as I move and come out of that particular viewpoint, those markups will disappear. So all these markup tools here are viewpoint specific. Being specific to a viewpoint, if I'm not in a particular viewpoint because I'm just navigating around and I decide to add some markups. So again, I'm just going to add a piece of text for simplicity and let's just call this one M and M this time for man and machine. I wasn't in a viewpoint to start with. But Navisworks has created a new viewpoint. So if you're not in a viewpoint and you add any of those markups, a new viewpoint will automatically get created. I can then come in here. I can rename this. Uh, let's just call this uh, markup view. It looks like that disappeared then. There we go. If I come off of it and back on, we now have a new viewpoint with the markups that we've created. So just to summarize, viewpoints are very useful for navigating around your project. You can left click and select them and you can navigate to parts of your project. And if you have anything such as sections created, those will be saved as part of the viewpoints. And if you have any markups added, again, they will also be saved as part of those viewpoints. You can access them from the Save Viewpoints window and you can organize these into folders. Thank you for watching.